That's why we're here. If there were, if it was a Chinese group waving the Chinese flag, saying we're against the voice, you would be okay with that as part of multiculturalism. Hey, I just want to say that was the 
best show all day. Well done, boys in blue. Well done. We enjoyed it. We we're here peacefully as well. We just got attacked by the police because they wanted to remove us from the stairs. But we're allowed to protest here. You're, you're from the freedom movement. Why are you against our freedom? Go away, you weirdos. Go away, you freaks. Go away, you weirdos. You fat. Yeah. Go and ask the cameras, mate. There's some cameras on the pubs, man. You're trying to try, you're trying to cause troubles, mate. I'm just filming, man. You're filming as well, yeah. You're just trying to cause troubles, mate. I'm just filming, mate. What did you, what did you see, man? We saw you push him, and there's a tussle. We have the freedom to stand up for white people in this country. It is a divisive issue, yes, but white people need to have their voice as well. We need to have our say on this issue. There's too many people talking about multiculturalism and multiracialism. Go away. Go away. The voice is part of a greater person. The Aboriginal voice is not designed by Aboriginals, but designed by a Jewish millionaire. He is designed by Jewish millionaires. Mark Reinley is one of them. He is considered the power broker of the voice. The Jewish elite and the poor elite wish to replace white people. are the same percentage of the population as what's going on in South Africa. You will find out the You are a part of the government agenda. Stop it. When you are being genocided and we choose between being victims and being conquerors. We choose conquerors. We choose between victimhood and strength. We choose strength. We choose between being replaced and being united and we will stand united as white Australians, as people And the voice is part of that. The voice is part of a communist agenda. There are foreign agents in your camp. Avi Yemeni and Ossie Cossack serve foreign governments. And they spread lies and rumors that we are feds. They spread lies and rumors that we work for Dan Andrews. They spread lies and rumors that we are your enemy. We are Australian citizens. We are proud Australians. We are not employed by anyone except ourselves. We do this despite our bank accounts being shut down. We do this. We are Come on, man. Come on. Fucking come on, then, man. No, you fucking talk shit, man. It's the only thing they fear. Why do the Dan Andrews government and the Jewish community have fast tracked the banning of the Roman salute? They haven't fast tracked the banning of you standing there with your opinions. Because you are not a threat. The Roman salute is a threat to their power because it is a symbol of our unity as a people. That's, that's why they want to ban the Roman salute. That's why you're allowed to have any opinion you want, but you cannot be pro-white without the government trying to change the laws to imprison you. It's good for you to work together. That's your option. The Chinese community are working as Chinese. The Jewish community are meeting in the synagogue. They're working together as Jews. The Aboriginals 
mostly are working together as Aboriginals. Okay, the whites need to also work together as whites. So if we're multicultural, if we're a democracy, if this is a freedom, then why can't white people have a voice as well? Why must we come? Why, why must white people come to these rallies and constantly apologize? We're so sorry, acknowledgement of country and all this nonsense, and listen to other people's culture. Why can't we stand up as white people and say, we're voting against this because it's against white people. Why are you against that? We stand with Sam Newman. We want the acknowledgement of country food. We stand with Sam Newman. We think that it's a disgrace. We think it's an insult. And I don't need to be welcome to my own country. So the next time they do an acknowledgement of country, it's not an acknowledgement of country. It's an acknowledgement of white guilt. You must be guilty, white man, for what your ancestors done. And me as a white man, I'm not guilty. I'm proud. I descend from conquerors. This land wasn't stolen. It was conquered by our ancestors. We don't need to apologize. We don't need to be guilty. We don't need to acknowledge their country. Hey, Thomas, are you advocating for segregation? To an extent, yes. I set up a white community centre in Roeville, not three years ago. The federal government, the state government, the local council shut us down. The police harassed us. Around the corner, 30 metres away, the Liberal Party funded an Indian community centre and they paid $6.5 million of our taxpayer money to set up an Indian community centre right next to where we set up a white community centre. So if you set up a white community centre, you get shut down by the politicians. But if you set up an Indian community centre, it's paid for by us white taxpayers. So yes, I do advocate for our power and our rights and our sovereignty. So you advocate for segregation, is that it? To an extent, yes. Isn't that racism? Absolutely. I put my race first. Yes, I am a racist. Okay, well... Yes, because there's 1.4 billion Chinese, which is where you come from, most likely. There's 1.4 billion of you, and there's 20 million of us. So how dare a Chinaman come to this country and lecture me? How dare a Chinaman come to this country and lecture me on my views and my values? I'm the founding stock of this country. I am a racist. No, I'm, I'm very open-minded. I'm an open-minded racist. The Chinese put China first. The Jews put Jews first. The Muslims put Muslims first. And white people need to put white people first. Why is the war about over? Why are Make sure you keep it on all the way home. I have the vaccine is very safe and effective. So why are you worried about public? You're one of them, aren't you, Antifa? Hmm? You're one of them, Antifa, aren't you? I'm just me. <laughs> I saw you with them. Sorry? How come you're wearing a mask outside? Well, COVID safety and I don't want to get stopped by Nazis. <laughs>